Hi, welcome back to Mama Four Boys. Today I am going to do an unboxing uh, of this Blackstone 22 inch tabletop griddle that I received as a gift. So we're gonna try to get it out, get a look at it. Uh, we might even get it seasoned um, so that we can take it camping. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Okay, I've got the box open and it looks like the way it's packaged, it's it's packaged very, uh, very well. I'm probably going to need help getting this out of the box, though, so I will uh, have to have Rachel hold the camera while I get it out of the box. I'll be back. All right, we've got it out of the box, um, and surprised, it it comes with uh, this really nice, looks like a canvas uh, cover for it. I think that's a bonus that comes with this particular model. Uh, also comes with the feet for it, uh, registration thing. It looks like you just hold it up to this um, mark there on the card and it will scan that in and take you right to the registration page. It looks like the griddle is laying uh, upside down for packaging and shipping on top of the, on top of the uh, the griddle and I'll take that top off and we'll get it the feet on it and we'll get it set up right and then we'll uh, pick up from there see you soon looks good so far though all right I'm back I've got the uh, griddle set on a couple pieces of styrofoam so I can get underneath of it uh, always 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 refer to your instruction manual and everything don't throw that away um, even though it seems simple uh, it's very simple to screw feet on and and set things on everything like that, but they're just you know, things that you might might uh, need to know uh, about tolerances and things and settings and what little parts inside mean and uh, what they're used for. Uh, but what you're going to need to for your feet, it comes with four feet and they're one half inch uh, sockets. So I'm going to put them on. I don't think you have to tighten them on there super tight. You don't want to. So I'll spin them out inside the rubber. So uh, I'm going to do that and then I'll set the, the griddle top on and we'll be back. All right, I've got the uh, the feet on and the griddle on and this uh, this one also came with the aluminum liner. Uh, it looks like just a an aluminum pan that you stick down inside of the the grease catching pan uh, and also the the regulator for the propane. I understand you can buy a, uh, a, a hose that will connect on to here that you can hook it onto your larger propane tank also. This one's made to be tabletop though, so it's made for these with the it's either probably a one pound propane uh, canister, which I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, it looks like this the grease trap, here's your grease. Uh, this just sets hangs on there right there on the back and catches everything. Did you see that? We'll catch everything that comes out of there without it. Uh, and it, and it, it's uh, the, the way that it's made here to for like almost like a pouring spout the grease will actually drip off there and not uh, run down the back of the unit so that's very very uh, good that they made it that way and then whenever your container fills up or you you know whenever you're done you can just take that out and pitch that if you choose to the liners can't be that much money so I'll probably always have the liners I'll buy a lot of them and then uh, Your propane connection goes on here. This is a very uh, proprietary valve. Uh, you cannot uh, use just any valve with this. So, uh, so this goes on, and this screws on to attach it. And then you'll have your propane uh, cylinder. We'll go right here, which I'll have in here shortly, and we'll fire it up. We'll be back. All right, I'm back and. I have uh, my one pound canister of propane, which is uh, what is this valve is designed to sit at the proper angle uh, when this is screwed on. I recommend attaching the tank to this first rather than uh, attaching <coughs> the, the mechanism to your grill and then fiddling with the tank. You're likely to bend this uh, arm and things like that. So. But uh, these, these can be purchased at Sam's Club, six of them for $30. Um, 
and that's the current price. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this, just push this on here, like that, and it screws on, and it sits at the correct angle. You don't have to over tighten it, it's just finger tight. It's When it's done, it's done. It's, it's got an O-ring inside of it that, that uh, uh, makes the, the seal. So should be ready to uh, uh, fire up. And I'm going to uh, next learn how you light it. Right here are the lighting instructions on here. So uh, they say read all your instructions, push the, uh, push the control knob in to start the gas flow. Turn the control knob counterclockwise to the desired to activate the starter. And when you turn it, when you turn it counterclockwise, it will activate the starter. So let's just give it a try real quick and see if that happens. So we turn this push in. And it clicked and lit. So I'm gonna turn it back off now. You have to push it in to turn it. You have to push in on the knob to adjust them. So it seems like they lock wherever you set them at and they lock. That's a good thing. So uh, we're gonna investigate this a little more. Uh, I'll probably raise it up and uh, make sure that it's safe before I activate it. See you soon. All right, we're back. Okay, once you've got your grill set up, I have I've set this on a piece of thick plywood so I can do this without any kind of worry of damage to anything. Uh, you take some, uh, you wanna take soapy water not a lot of soap, just some soap to break down any oil or grease that might have been uh, on the grill top during shipping. And uh, you want to just use a paper towel. I'm going to wet this and soap this up a little bit and just wipe it down dry. I'm not going to rinse it and anything else because that will all burn off. But uh, this is the first step in seasoning your new griddle. I'm going to wipe this down and uh, we'll be back. All right, I've uh, put my soapy water on. And I'm just going to dry it off now. I also took care to wash the inside edges here also. So I'm make sure that's all nice and clean. And this is uh, completely clean and dry. And the next step that you're going to want to do is put it on high and uh, turn it on and let it heat up for about 10 minutes. So I'm going to Fire this up, I'll let you see it in here. Turn the knob, gas comes in, and it lit. You can see that burning there, we'll light the other side. And there we have it. Okay, it's on high. I'm gonna put these right at about nine o'clock, and I'll let them be on high, and we'll let this sit for about 10 minutes, and we'll come back and check it. See you soon. All right, I'm back while my, uh, griddle is heating up and it is heating up quickly while it heats up i'm going to show you that uh, uh, blackstone now sells this griddle seasoning and cast iron conditioner um, and it is supposedly uh, the best for this they recommend it they manufacture it so it must be good to use with the blackstone uh, griddle and i, I want to make sure that mine is seasoned correctly before i ever use it uh, so that I don't just ruin it. Uh, so the other thing you're going to need is I took a paper towel. I'll do the, make two of these. I folded it in half, folded it again, uh, folded the entire paper towel into like a two by two square. You're going to need uh, you're going to need that a set of tongs, and you're probably going to put uh, a couple like two tablespoons of this on the griddle for uh, each layer. But I'm going to do a little research and I will tell you the exact amount for this size grill. I think it's going to be one and a half to two tablespoons. But uh, I'll let you know. We'll be back whenever the, uh, the griddle is hot. You can see it's starting to change color a little bit as it, like it's supposed to. And it's very warm. So uh, I'm excited to season it up and we'll be back soon. Stay tuned. Okay, it's been 15 minutes now. My griddle has changed color. I'm going to put... Uh, about, well, it looks like one, one and a half, maybe one teaspoon of, of, uh, of this seasoning uh, solution on here. I'm going to heat that up enough for it to fall off. And uh, 
and then you just take your, your paper towel and you want to move that around. And get it all over. Then they say they say that thin layers are the key to seasoning your griddle properly. Thin layers. So let's just rub that in. It says uh, to to coat the sides. Rub that in. It says when the smoke stops. Uh, completely that's whenever you know it's seasoned but uh, so you, you let this burn off in between layers for about 10 minutes so I'm gonna be back in about 10 minutes see you soon that's layer one we'll be back all right it's been 10 minutes uh, and you see that it's all one color now smoking has stopped I'm gonna uh, put just another dab on about the same amount about one tablespoon and get my, my paper towel going. They said that the key to this is thin, even layers. So, trying to keep my layers thin and even. In each layer, I'm going to do the uh, the sides, and then do the back, and this things will splash on there, and then I do the front. So I've got my layer nice and thin here, and that's layer number two, and we'll be back in 10 more minutes. See you then. All right, we're back, and it's almost time for the third layer of seasoning. Uh, and while we're waiting the last few minutes here, I'll show you this three-piece griddle starter toolkit uh, that my wife got me. It's, I believe, $44 at Lowe's. Uh, it has a griddle scraper and two griddle spatulas. And then she also got me this three-foot Blackstone uh, griddle hose that you attach to a regular propane tank, and that's $15. Uh, you can get that at Walmart or at Lowe's. So I wanted to share those accessories with you, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and load up my my uh, tongs with another spoonful of the seasoning, and I'll be right back. Third seasoning here, third layer of seasoning, and I'm trying to get this on there evenly pretty quickly because it seems to be it's awfully hot. So again, I'm going to uh, I'm going to take this while it's moist, and I'm going to hit each side, as well as the back, again. and this side, and I'm going to hit the front again. So I'll just go a little more time here, like this, to even that layer out, and we will be back with layer number four in about 10-15 minutes. See you soon. I want to add a note here. I also want to say that I, I'm purposely trying to use the same paper towel because it's absorbed the oil uh, the seasonings and so it's pretty saturated uh, even though it's burning a little bit of the paper towel as it heats you know as it goes on hot uh, it's still saturated so starting with a fresh paper towel every time would probably use a lot more of your seasoning also I'd like to say that I, I fully expect to go through this entire one pound uh, container of propane uh, by the time I season this grill, uh, this griddle, uh, talking approximately 60 minutes to 75 minutes of cooking, of heating time on high uh, by the time this gets seasoned all the way, but, but that's worth it. So uh, just count on uh, six, seven to ten dollars worth of propane to, to season the griddle. Uh, and so we'll be back in about, oh, I don't know, 12 or 13 more minutes for the uh, seasoning layer number four. All right, I'm back. We're getting ready to do layer number four of seasoning. Heat that up. I'm going to fall off. Grab my same paper towel. I'm going to move it back and forth pretty quick to try to get it even, you know, uh, get it evened out while it's cooling. And then I can go through and move it around. Oh, yeah, that's looking good. It's looking really good. Okay, I'm going to. Make sure I get the back again. I'm gonna grab this up, 
get the sides. Hot. Very hot in here. All right, sides, the front here. And I said you don't want it to be like in a puddle or ripples on it because the ripples will be areas where it will chip eventually if it's seasoned in uneven layers. So there's number four and we'll, uh, looks like it's even and we will come back in 10-15 more minutes and do season uh, layer number five. I think you can do this as many times as you want. I don't think you can do it too much according to their instructions. Uh, so the more the better I guess. I'll do at least five or six or seven. We'll see how I feel. See you soon. All right, we're back and I'm gonna do the fifth layer of seasoning and I believe that that's all that my uh, my cylinder is going to, to handle. So I've been burning this for an hour, more than an hour now. And uh, so I'm putting on one final layer with this cylinder and I'm gonna uh, let it burn until it goes out. And I think that will probably be We'll call that seasoned. And it looks like a nice layer here. We don't want pooling. Get the back and the sides and the front again. Okay, and I have, now that I'm almost done, I have one new paper towel. I'm gonna kinda go and even this off so I don't have too much sitting in one spot. Which will make my final layer nice and even. There we go. You know, I might just I put this on here and just, Coat it with another thin layer. Look at that, because I have so much on my on my paper towel from the different layers. I'm gonna stop right there with the seasoning. I think. Okay, we're going to let this burn uh, until until it stops smoking, and then we'll just let it cool down, and uh, and then we'll be back to take a look at what the surface looks like when it's cool. See you soon. All right, welcome back. Uh, we have now seasoned the Blackstone grill, griddle, I say grill, griddle, and uh, and I'm, it's, it's cooled down. I'm gonna uh, put the cover on it that came with it. It's a very nice cover before I put it away for the day, and I'm gonna show you a, a little bit of the cover, and, uh, and then uh, that'll conclude the video. So I hope it's been helpful to everybody. Uh, and I'll be right back. All right, we have the cover on, and it came with this very nice uh, embroidered canvas uh, cover. All right, we hope that this uh, video has been helpful to you with getting a new Blackstone griddle, as we did. Um, we're very excited to use it. We're gonna try it out this weekend at camp, I believe. And uh, until the next time, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell, uh, which will help us send you uh, notifications that there will be a new video coming out. And have a great rest of your night, and God bless.